So why did we add a full twist throttle to the Super 73 Z1? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're gonna install a full twist throttle on our fully modded 72 volt Super 73 Z1. We'll talk about why we wanted a twist throttle, walk through the installation and do a test ride. So let's get to it. Pat two dope in the house. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you brought the 72 volt Super 73 Z1 over. What do we want to do today? I need this throttle to be a twist throttle. The thumb throttle right here, it's good for in the city, but on those long rides, I need something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, I need that feel. You're just in luck because we do have a twist throttle fresh from Amazon. I don't know if the grips can be replaced, but. Eh, I feel too bad. Yeah. Nice uh, brand new rubber. That's okay. the action I'm looking for. <laughs> A little bit of that and less of this. <laughs> so we just have to take off a couple of things. Oh no, did this come off? Yeah. Oh, it broke off. Yeah. We don't have a garage or anything. This is all backyard e-bike modding. The twist throttle is going to help me a lot. Just going on those long rides, trying to have my thumb on this throttle right here. It's real good for the city, but after 30 minutes or so, my palm starts to get tired, starts to ache. We really haven't been riding these long distance, so that was probably your first experience it's doing like a long range. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect this thumb throttle from the phase runner. So what's cool about the phase runner is that it has a cycle analyst display and basically you can connect everything from the handlebars to the controller through the cycle analyst. So we don't actually have to go inside of the bike to replace the throttle, which is dope. So one thing we gotta make sure is that the signals are matching. Well, we can uh, twist around and find out. Not sure this is going to be right, but <laughs> we'll know shortly. Perfect, so right. the wiring works. So we got the throttle hooked up, cleaned up the wires, put the brake lever back on, grip on here. Yeah, there you go. Could probably move this a little closer if you want. You like the brake close, right? Yep. I find I like using the, the rear brake a lot. All right, got me all twisted and ready. So now that we've installed the twist throttle, let's take it out for a ride. Let's go. So it's definitely something I gotta get used to. I'm used to controlling my thumb, but as long as I don't pull all the way back on the throttle, then I'm good. And go up the street. Okay. I feel less stress on my wrists, on my whole palm. No stress on my thumb at all, which is good. Um, it's definitely a, a lot different riding it. I feel like having this is going to be best for my long trips, especially just on my thumb. Um, I feel like I can rest my hand a lot more than I could. Yeah. It's not too much different while braking, which is good. I will say it's a lot easier to go, go from zero to a hundred <laughs> with the thumb throttle where I feel like this, I kind of have to like control it and then adjust my wrist a lot more. But overall, I feel the difference of the less stress on my hand. Oh yeah, much different. Yeah, 
I'm used to the throttle, the twist throttle on the Suron, which has a little more torque, but the phase runner like regulates the throttle, so there's not a lot of kick to it. You know, you can definitely modulate the level of throttle using your whole wrist instead of just like your thumb. I think the range on the, on the thumb throttle is much shorter. It's like a shorter throw. I just feel like it's, you know what I mean? You can kind of find a sweet spot when you're throttling. But again, it doesn't kick you off because the phase runner regulates it. So you can, you can like throttle and uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't like push you forward, but it, it feels good. That was a easy install. Right then and there, I didn't get as much as that jerk motion I might when I'm using the, the thumb throttle. Um, just like trying to find the right position, which once I did find the right position, then I had to hold it, which puts stress on my thumb. Yeah, that's not what I want. So I'm excited about this. Overall, we really like the full twist throttle since you can maintain a more constant throttle. Unlike the thumb throttle, which can get tiring on long rides. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.